How to build a box using Blender. First, you add a new cube into the scene. Place the cube on the grid by hitting G and then 1 on your keyboard. Then, you go into edit mode, select the top face and delete it. Hit 2 on your keyboard to allow you select edges. Hit numpad 1 to go to front view. Hit Ctrl plus R on your keyboard to add a loop cut. Then hit 3 on your keyboard to be able to select faces. Select the edges and hit E on your keyboard to extrude them. Scale them on the X axis by hitting S and then X on your keyboard. Extrude the edges. Select the next edges and extrude them. Add a solidify modifier. Go back into edit mode and add a loop cut. Time to add in some amateur. Go into edit mode. Select the amateur or hit A to select all. And then move it to the top by hitting G on your keyboard and hitting Z, then moving it to the top. Move the amateur to one face of the box's cover. Duplicate it by hitting Shift plus D on your keyboard, then move it to the opposite face. Select both amateurs and duplicate them. Then rotate them by hitting R and then type 90 on your keyboard. Go into front view, then select the amateur on the front face, then hit F2 on your keyboard to rename it. Do the same for all other amateurs. Go out of edit mode, then select the box first, then while holding shift, select the amateurs. Then hit Ctrl plus P, then select with empty groups. Go into edit mode, then select the front face of the cover, then assign it to its respective amateur.
Now you can move those faces individually. If the flaps are too long, you can always go back to edit mode and reduce them. Hit N on your keyboard to open the side menu. Select item. With all the amateurs selected, hit I on your keyboard to add a keyframe. Now select each individual amateur and rotate them to match a closed box. The flaps are overlapping. Select the amateurs of the top flaps, then move their keyframes a few frames ahead. Next, the tape. Add a plane to the scene and place it on top of the box. Then scale it on the x-axis to as thin as you want it to be.
Make sure texture is selected in viewport shading to allow you see the texture of your material. Add a new material and rename it to tape. With Node Wrangler activated, hit Ctrl plus T on your keyboard when you select the principal BSDF. Add in your image texture by clicking open on the image texture node. Go into edit mode and hit you on your keyboard, then select unwrap. Now, add loop cuts, at least 20, so that there will be enough geometry to make the tape bend smoothly. Scale to fit however you want it to. Hit Ctrl plus S and choose Cursor to Selected when you have selected the tape. Add in a path. Rotate the path 90 degrees on the Z-axis. Go into Edit Mode. Check this checkbox if you want to see the direction of the path. Go to side view by hitting numpad 3. Make a curve by hitting G to grab, then using E to extrude the path. Now, add a curve modifier to the tape, and choose the path. Now, as you move the path, the tape will move along the path. Move the path to a point where the tape is flat. Then go into edit mode, then move the path until the tape is on the box.
Remember to turn off auto keying. Move to a frame where the box is completely closed, then add a keyframe by right-clicking on the X on the location menu. Then, move a few frames backward to where the box is open, then add another keyframe. Hit Shift plus S on your keyboard then select Cursor to World Origin to place the cursor at the scene's origin. Add a camera to the scene. Grab and move it to, to a reasonable distance away from the box. Rotate the camera 90 degrees south on the x-axis. Hit numpad 0 to navigate to camera view. Reposition the camera and change the focal length. Press the wheel on your mouse to be able to change the distance of the camera at will. Add a cube empty into the scene and place it at the same position as the cube by hitting G, then 1 on your keyboard. Right click and then choose Adjust Empty Display Size. Then increase its size a bit. Select the tape, path and the amateurs, then select the cube empty, then hit Ctrl plus P. Then choose Object, Keep Transform. Now when you select the cube empty, you can move all the objects at once. Go into camera view, then switch to render view. Change your render engine to cycles. You can reduce your max samples for noise threshold to reduce the render time on the viewport. Now, add lights into your scene. If you like my tutorial, please hit the like button and subscribe, and hit that notification bell icon to be alerted when I post new content.